Welcome back. Now today in this session we are going to initialize our project and create the Blazor uh, WebAssembly project. We'll start by launching Visual Studio 2019. Go click on Create Project, choose Blazor app. Next. Here I will call it Planner App. I'll call the whole solution Player App and the Blazor call it dot .client. Then I will choose here place to documents, AK Academy, Planner App, Blazor Web Assembly, Project, and at select folder and now at create. Okay, choose Blazor Web Assembly and Create. Okay, here is our project is ready. Now I will click run just to make sure that everything is working good. Okay, here we go. Now the project is working very well. Now I want to create another project inside the solution, add new project, then I'll call it, I'll choose the, the project of type .NET standard, standard, uh -huh, class library. Here I will put all our models that are associated to our project because we can use them at the same models across multiple projects like Xamarin, UWB or whatever, maybe WPF or any other .NET project, uh, which is this is one of the amazing features of using Blazor rather than other uh, single page application frameworks from GS because you can simply share your code across multiple platforms and now including web with Blazor. So we can call it planner app dot shared at create. I will remove this class and now we are ready to start. As you can see here, there is the name of the convention of naming projects and solution. The solution had the name of our project. Then each, uh, each project like planner if you have an API that's existing here, or .android, iOS, or whatever. Now, in the next video, we are going to install the Radzen UI framework in Blazor. Then to start applying it in authentication first, like uh, creating the register and login page, because <coughs> we want to initialize specifically out for authentication. We'll talk about this in the next two videos. So stay tuned.